Although some people might worry about the National Security Agency itself spying on their phones, the agency has some advice for iPhone and Android users concerned about getting hacked. Reboot your device regularly to fend off potential cyber threats. Joining us now to go over the new warning from the NSA and other ways to protect your personal devices is owner of Youngstown Computer, Joe Danier. Joe, thanks for coming in. We Absolutely. appreciate it. So the NSA says reboot your device once a week. Why is something as simple as that a way to really protect yourself? Well, the software developers do a good job of patching things in real time. So when there's an exploit, they're pretty good about patching it. But if you don't apply those updates and you don't right. really apply, or apply the uh, reboot the phone, those don't apply. Obviously, you and I both have iPhones yep. up here. Hopefully, everybody knows how to reboot their phone. But if yes. they don't, give a quick tutorial if you can. So hard reset is basically hold down the volume up button and hold down the power for long enough to you see the Apple logo. And right. same thing goes with an Android device. With an Android. Okay. Yep. Really, really simple Real stuff. Real simple. Yeah, yeah. Are phones more susceptible to hackers than, say, a computer or a laptop? I would say it's a little easier on a computer. Okay. But because everybody has their phone with them, it makes it a rich target for them to try stuff, to be able to open your microphone, steal your location, right. get your your passwords and so forth. Well, you kind of lead me into my next question. What information would hackers be trying to get out of your phone? Yeah, they're, they're trying to nail you down to uh, stealing your identity, where you frequent, um, and then your activities. If you're logging into Facebook or into YouTube or eBay, trying to steal those passwords. Okay. But the open mic one is most concerning, where they can toggle the camera and the mic and be able to catch conversations oh, wow. and things that are in your home. Uh, something I would have never really thought of. Are there ways to protect our information specifically that you just mentioned? Yeah, best way to do it is keep it updated because okay. they're the, the zero day basically says every time there's an update, somebody finds an exploit. And when the patch happens, that usually is an, within a week of that first update right. from happening. What other security tips would you give to people when it comes to password protection, Wi-Fi networks, data storage that maybe often are ignored? Yeah, a lot of people are real comfortable with connecting to public Wi-Fi when they have no idea right. who hosts that Wi-Fi. Um, I could set up a router in a hotel room and get 20 people to connect to the Wi-Fi that I can see all the activity that's going through. So don't, you know, you want to get a good VPN mm -hmm. somewhere where you can connect it into a coffee shop that it protects your data. And then antivirus, uh, having some kind of firewall or, or anti-security device. You said VPN. For those that maybe don't know what that is, what is that? Okay, so there's a couple brand names, ExpressVPN being one of them. And what happens is you connect to them before you connect to the internet. Got it. And it creates an encrypted tunnel in the, wire, or the internet right. so that if anybody's monitoring it, it's just scrambled data. It's not your true passwords and your location. How do you get that? You can download the app. Um, they have a couple of free ones. Like I said, Express is probably the most trusted one because right. you got to trust the VPN supplier just as much as you would anybody else. For sure. How often would you recommend changing passwords? I'm about once a month. I about okay. at the beginning of every month, I scour my credit card statements, I look at my bank records, and I change my passwords. And do you use one that you come up with, or do you use like one of those crazy all the letters and numbers? Uh, LastPass is the best. So <laughs> if you could get like Dashlane or some kind of password management tool right. that makes up a sophisticated password and remembers it for you, that is the best way to do it. All right, Joe Danier, we appreciate it as Absolutely. always. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.